breakfast, I'm going to have some shreddies. I think the shreddies. Let's see what they are. Sure they are. Shreddies. I like a new one, like a... Uh, Aye. Well. Honey and nut. Shredded wheat. Like little squares. With peanuts on them and honey on them. First bit of beer to the day is the drink. Like a little... Yogurt drink from Aldi. Helps you gut, man. Something for cholesterol or something like that. Then me little shreddy squares. Shreddy squares is actually nice for cereal for me. I just go on and off it all the time. <coughs> like, I like it. And then that just like one day I'll just not even fancy it. And I'll never have it again ever. I'm into these at the moment until I'm off them and then a cup of coffee. But we done my shop yesterday and I, where do we go? I, Aldi, 50 odd quid for the week because we didn't use as much. We had plenty left in the freezer and that so basically didn't need to get as much. So it's 50 odd quid. That's good. It's normally about 70, 70, 80 quid. So I thought it was all right. But what I found though, we went back to Aldi. I like Asda. I, I like the, uh, the new, like, uh, what's it, Essential Range or whatever. That's actually better at Al uh, Asda, I think. Which is a lot cheaper. And Aldi, I just think it's actually not that cheap. So, so yeah. Nah. I'm going to be selling the garage for a little workout on the treadmill. I'm going to get a 10 minute walk. Let me sell loose, loosened up. I've done a bit of stretching before and I just felt. Like every muscle was gonna snap. Just felt just like I could hardly move. So a little stretch and a little walk on a treadmill. I was enjoying the boxing bag the idea. I went on before night shift the idea. Actually enjoyed it so fancy a bit of that, a bit of this, and then I might do the rower as well. See how long I last in here. It is hard to keep you focused like by yourself and stuff like that. Just gotta make an effort, you know? And it's quite cold as well, which just puts a big like a, it's a mental downer, like, house is cool, garage is cool there, I just didn't want to do it. <coughs> Snack. I've been in the gym before, done a bit of treadmill and boxing. I've got a little croissant with a bit of peanut butter. I've burnt a little bit and I'll make decent with another cup of coffee. And it's about 12 o'clock now. Good, like, just leave your mouth clogged up with peanut butter. So, we're going to change of plan. This is our floor that we put down a while ago. The plan now is floor. It's just shocking, really. Luna Homes Henry. Don't know why. He doesn't want to She homes him. So that's the floor there. Obviously, it's just shocking that. It's just diabolical. So basically, well, look. It's just gonna. <laughs> There's the floor. This is just how it is of walking on it, using it. They're the ones from Home Bargains. Thought they'd been a good idea, but they're actually terrible. Then we got some off Amazon. And they were actually thicker and they were sound. It's just she had to go over to sell and didn't put it down that well. So these are just, well, I've just pulled a corner bit off there. Just like, why? I don't know if anyone else has used these on home bargains, but in a bathroom, they're not good. Whether the moisture, the water, heat gets to it, I don't know, but no good. Not good. So, who's doing that, man? Get off me. So I'm taking it up and I have to clean the laminate that's underneath. And we don't really like the laminate, but we could get the ones of Amazon, they were actually better tiles. Or just do the floor again. Because we kind of want a dark floor that looks better than the laminate. It goes with the, the bathroom, it's full black and white, and there's just like this wood floor, which you don't really like. Which, <laughs> just bring it up.
Second my life. So, sticky is out. <sighs> Just gonna try and scrub it all off for a few various substances that are gonna be used. A little afternoon snack. Bit of yogurt and nuts and a cup of tea. It's a lemon curd yogurt. With a mix of nuts, almonds, cashew nuts, pistachios, walnuts, all the good ones. And a cuppa, because I'm sick of my life. I'm taking that floor up in the ensuite and like, all the glue stuck on the laminate underneath and it's just a fucking nightmare. You wanna come behind the scenes? Yeah, it's behind the scenes sneak peek clips of Harvey performing at Sunderland Royalty Theatre from the 27th of September to the 1st of October. I never concluded the footage of the rehearsals so um, I just wanted to come on and obviously say that that is a sneak peek of the rehearsals I really hope you enjoyed it and honestly I'm so privileged to be working with this cast the first show I've ever done with the Royal Theatre because the cast are absolutely amazing and I feel so inspired working with them and I just really love the play Harvey I've really fallen in love with it I know I've never shut up about it but it's something that's currently going on in my life that I'm really excited about that I can talk about and I just obviously wanted to get some other clips throughout the week of 
of um, different parts of the rehearsals and stuff. So there still might be some other bits featured, but that was just the first kind of preview that I've ever showed of the show. If you would like to come and you're from the northeast, the shows are in Sunderland. They're at the Royal Ethia in Sunderland, and there's five shows. The first one is on Tuesday, the 27th of September, and then the last one will be on um, Saturday, the 1st of October. I'll have the link to the tickets in the description below if you would like to get a ticket. It's not a big theatre, it is amateur acting, so you know it is a small theatre, it is all kind of ran and funded by the shows and everything like that. But the cast are absolutely phenomenal, the set is amazing, and I am so 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 honoured to be part of it and yeah if any of you are going to come let us know I would love to see you there I'll have the link in the description um but yeah I'm so excited guys it's currently Wednesday and Henry's sitting with us while I edit are you tired you can't be tired you've not been up long he literally was just coming in the office and whimpering so I was like do you want to get on my knee so Henry is helping Mammy with a bit of work, aren't you? My mum's coming to pick them up because they're going out on an adventure with my mum and Dolly. So yeah, she's coming in about half an hour. I'm editing, but I'm also got distracted with Jess's new video. She's done a batch cook with me and I love it so much. I really want to, well, I'm really inspired by some of our um, ideas. I want to batch cook some um like overnight oats and chia seeds I feel like it would really help us in the mornings um, because if I don't have like a good healthy breakfast it ruins my full day worth of food and stuff um so yeah I want to batch cook I batch cook you some mints you love your mint mm. and now what are you doing I keep meaning I've got it oh sorry Henry what's up are you not one down? I've got a spare dog bed in one of the rooms upstairs and I keep meaning to put one in here because I know they would just love it when I'm editing to sit here. So I'm going to, when my mum takes them today, I'm going to clear the office and put a bed in here for them just so they've got a little space to lie down. Because I do have a mat but it's not very thick, it's not very comfortable. But yeah, I'm just watching Jess's batch cook. Um, Yeah, and then I'm trying to edit my own video as well. It's now Looney Lou's turn. For a cuddle and a snug. Snuggle with mammy, eh? Snuggle. Oh, I honestly just love how cuddly they are. They're such babies. Like, sometimes it does piss us off a little bit how needy you are. Because, oh. I can't put both ears on me knee. It's just not possible. I don't know how to do two. I, d I don't. I don't know how I'll manage two ears on me knee. Oh, do you want down now? Okay, be careful. Watch, you're gonna fall. Go that way. Go on. Good girl. Bloody hell. I need to get the bed in here. Like, I do love how needy they are, Whippets are really needy. They love being with you. And I love that. Like, I love that they love being with us. But sometimes when you're trying to get stuff done, and if I have closed the door because I'm having a really, like, busy hour or something, and they're just going... <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, guys. Just five minutes. Five minutes is all I need. My mum always says to me, though... It's nothing compared to having a baby. She's like, imagine having a crying baby that you can't leave for a minute. She says, my mum's like, I used to have to put you in your car seat when I was having a bath, when I was having a shit. And I'm just like, anybody got time for that? Okay, so I've got some lunch. I've gone for a jack of potato and then I've made this filling, which I've kept half for tomorrow for a sandwich. It's like this vegan chicken, Mediterranean style chicken I had in the freezer. So I've used that. I've mixed some vegan meal with some onion. And then I have three mini peppers stuffed with vegan cheese. Um, I'm really bad at not having lunch and just snacking. And then I end up on a binge and end up snacking loads. So I'm really trying to make the effort to make an actual substantial lunch um, to stop the snacking. I have also got a sugar-free energy drink. I know they're so bad for you and I know to drink water over everything else but my binge cravings have been quite bad recently and I find I can sometimes subside the binge cravings with a, a pop so that's what I've been doing is it's just having a sugar free pop instead of um, actually having a binge well trying to prevent the binge by having a sugar free pop mediterranean vegan chicken is lovely i got it in like the reduced section of asda i think i can't remember the brand name but it's really nice um and i just love these little peppers you get from aldi and i love stuffing them with vegan cream cheese i use the cream cheese from asda um and these little peppers are just a perfect little snack or um like just to have as a bit of a 
side tummy lunge. I've just had a bit of an office tidy up because it was an absolute mess. It's still not perfect. I'm desperate to get rid of this rug. It's got stains on it. Like it's just rank. I hate the rug. Um, but I use like a tape to put it to the floor. So I don't want that visible. So until I get a new rug, it's staying down. So ignore the state of that. But I've cleaned the office a bit. This is Depop stuff. So I have stuff that's already listed waiting to sell. A few bits that I need to list. Obviously that's my table, my chair where I work, blah, blah, blah. There's my lunch plate, need to put it out. That is my Depop supply. So it's where I keep like my sellotape, my sanitizing spray, my parcel bags, everything I need in here for Depop supplies in there is just an overload of my um like presents i get for people for birthdays and stuff that's my friend natalie's birthday present i should be able to give that to her tomorrow i have these drawers here which i'm not gonna lie on the top it's just a it's a bit of a mess just things that i feel need to be there but in the drawers they're all right they're semi-organized this is like wires and stuff wires and random stuff i might need receipts this is kind of like a tax draw receipts and stuff then i have just bits and bobs in this one to be fair little things i want to keep um bits and bobs i've got some notebooks and planners and stuff in here again notebooks and planners some photos um, and then so on and so forth, just thingies. My grandma gave us this, which I really like. And for the spare room in the back, I have like an idea of a decor design. But look at it, it's so beautiful. So that's just there for now. And then I have my two tripods. This chest of drawers here I actually got from Furniture Box and I love it. So I have this um, piece of art on here. Somebody drew us this. It's of me, of course. This is the lady who very kindly drew it and sent it to my PO box. I love it so much. Um, so I've just got that on there for now. I just have a little wax burner saying on air. But that's not attached to that. But like, yeah, it's it's there. You know what I mean. And then I just have some little bits and bobs here. These are where I keep my extra PR. So... At the minute, I have an overload of tans from PR, which I'm very, very, very grateful for. But they just don't fit in my dressing room as of now. So they're in there. And um, this one, again, is PR. I've got all of my love cases, phone cases, some extra bits and bobs. This one is makeup PR. All stuff that I just need to sort through when I run out of something in my current makeup bag. I come to this drawer and look for something else. They're a bit stiff because they're so heavy and this one is skincare same thing when i run out of something i come here and pick something but again they're very very stiff and then i just have my mirror that bag is just an empty bag that bag is to go upstairs it's got stuff in that i need to take up this is current work so that is love honey i'm currently working with them so i need to do that that is also some pr parcels i got sent which i really want to do like a real or tiktok on this is my plimsolls for Raha um, Harvey show. I ordered them off ASOS, but I'm not sure if Billy the director is going to like them because they've obviously got like a snake skin pattern. But yeah, they're quite cute. So hopefully they'll be okay for that. And that's just rubbish that needs to go in the bin. Really terrible at keeping on top of the office being tidy, but I just, I need it to be tidy to stay organized so I can get work done. So yeah, I'm getting better. It's staying on top of the office, but I'm I'm not perfect yet. Okay, guys, I'm now at rehearsals. I'm in the dressing room because I'm going to put my Nurse Kelly outfit on because I've got the tights on and that the day, so I thought I might as well just try the full outfit. And I've done my hair. I try to curl these front bits because I thought... Cute, but they fell out already, so that didn't work. And I'm hoping I'll be able to wear a red lip for Nurse Kelly. I feel like it's red lip vibes, but I don't know if that's what... Billy's gonna want. So, I'm in the dressing room. I'm gonna get changed into Nurse Kelly. Quick tea tonight. Demi's out of acting and I've got to defend for myself. So I've actually got Chiquito. What's it called? Chiquito. Chiquito. Beef burrito. Make it rhyme. Here's in a spicy tomato sauce with rice, kidney beans, peppers, cheddar cheese in a tortilla wrap. Looks all right. We've actually got guacamole, I think, as well, in the fridge. So I might make a bit of that. See, I'll take it's frozen, so just get it out. Just frozen wrap. See as you can make away of it, but I'm not going to do that because I think it'll just be soggy and minging. So I'm just going to chuck it in the oven and have that for me tea. Be fancy and much to be honest. So that should do, you know. 
decent. I want the calories like per pack. Bloody hell. Per oven baked pack. Seven. Eight hundred and seven. What have I got in it like? A lump of butter. It's a wrap with just mints and beans and tomato. That is vile, that like. That, that is shocking, that. That is, that, I can't be doing that. That's the details there. 807 cals for that wrap. Basically, you can tell why it's 800 calories because it is spot on. It's a good wrap. And it's just lush. So, it's probably worth the 800 calories, but it's a hefty tea that though, when you think of it. I mean, and I've done all right today. I haven't counted calories, but I've had a corned beef sandwich for me dinner, pancakes for me breakfast. So I pretty much had a sound day. And that for me tea, 800 calories, that's it. So that's not that bad, but it's a good. It's just got a nice finish on it. got you're right near the kettle so you're gonna hear the kettle i've got just under an hour under under an hour under an hour before i leave before i need to leave the house to go to rehearsals and i'm just gonna have a quick cuppa today's fit is from asos this long sleeve t-shirt um, I absolutely love it. The brand is Monkey, but I got it on ASOS and then just some black flares. I've been doing rehearsals for the last three nights in full dress anyway, so it's literally just wearing this to get there and then go to the dressing room and get changed. But it's Friday, and on a Friday, the do um, at the theatre, there's a social night. Which basically means after rehearsals, some of the cast stay behind and have a drink and stuff. I'm taking the car, but I have went to some of them and got left. But I am taking the car tonight, but I'm still going to stay behind and have a drink with everybody. Tonight's technically the last rehearsal. Theatre tomorrow, which is Saturday. But we are there on Sunday for what is another rehearsal. But Billy, the director, wants to treat it as a actual um, show. So he's not going to give what any note or anything after Sunday's show. How, well, not how the rest of the week is going to go and how the live shows are going to go because technically we could get better, we could get worse. But he wants me to treat it like a live show, basically. Then we'll have Monday off and then the first show is on Tuesday. And I feel like I know what I'm doing at every point. However, there is still a few lines which I'm just fucking up. And it's mainly every time I need to go into the dictaphone or the actual phone, I'm forgetting what to say. And it's quite crucial that I remember them part. So I'm just going to have... A read over with my cuppa before I go to rehearsals and then I'm gonna go to rehearsals get dressed and everything um and then yeah we'll have another full run through of the show and then we'll be heading to social after to have a drink or so. Well, Dr Chumney is more than a psychiatrist he is a psychiatrist with a national reputation
inflated ego, case history. I'd like to, hey, I, I would like to know this too. I would like to, no need to bat my head off. Well, no need to bat my head off. My, that man was mad. My, no need to bat my head off. The gilet is on. Who the hell's me phone? It's in the pocket. I need a chewer. Got coffee breath. I'm that person that hears songs like this on sex education and puts them in my playlist and I really like them. Five days on the freeway, riding shotgun with you. Siri, what night are you thinking of going? Ready to send it? Send. Did I tell you I got the eyelashes in filled today? I don't think I did. Well, I did. I did. Anyway, so um, I'm back home, being rehearsals again. Tonight, I say it was kind of the last rehearsal, but it wasn't really. Sunday's is a rehearsal as well. Um, and I didn't need any prompts. I knew it. And I feel like... I feel like I'm good now, um, so I'm really, really excited. I'm, I'm actually really excited. Tonight's rehearsal went so well. It did. Um, I'm fucking freezing, by the way. If I'm like, my voice is shivering, I'm actually really cold. We've just come in the house, just put the heating on. The pups have been at me mum's most of the night, and then she dropped them off back at mine. Um, but yeah, I'm really cold. So it is Sunday and it is a very exciting Sunday because it is now officially the end of the rehearsals for Harvey. We've just had the last one there, I've just getting home and it went really, really well. First show was on Tuesday and then right up until Sunday, uh, Saturday we'll be doing our shows and I'm really excited. I just want to take this moment to actually like say a few things because you know, Sunderland Royalty Theatre have been absolutely amazing. I have had the best time in a long time like I've really found a hobby that I love there's people there that I feel I've gelled with I get on with that have been so open and welcoming and friendly and I'm so glad to be part of such an amazing cast and show and I'm so excited to be doing the shows next week like I literally can't wait um but I also want to take this moment to say like I'm 26 years old and recently obviously just got back into acting as you all know I documented it told you about the audition and everything and I've never ever claimed to be this amazing actress but it's something that I know I love I get a thorough joy from doing it and I put it off for so many years getting back into it because I just thought well I'm 25 now like it's a bit old like I'm an adult I'm actually 26 god I'm getting really old <laughs> but I've just thought you know I'm 26 years old like I'm an adult now like you know acting hobbies nah you know like I've just put it off for so many years but being back into it now has literally changed my life I'm not going to stop it yet though because I am doing panto straight after and I'm being a part of that and then I hope to be a part of more into the new year 2023 and I just I think I, what I'm basically saying is if you want to do something look in your area and find groups find amateur acting groups well if it's acting find singing groups if you want to be part of a choir just go for it because I think you know we live one life life is very very short and this experience as a whole has proved to me that we've got to take these things and just do them and yeah so that's what I wanted to say I just wanted to say that that this is your 
cue to go and find something you want to do and do it anyway i'm going to go and edit the rest of this weekly vlog get it up live for you thank you so much for spending another week with me today i can't wait to meet some of you i've been speaking to you on instagram and i know that is some of you coming to the show so i can't wait to meet you um but yeah other than that that is going to wrap up this week thank you so much for spending another week with me and i'll see you all very shortly for another one bye